Hi everybody, so today we are going to work on both the face and then finishing the top of our jug with the kind of rounded dome shape and then the spout. Okay, so what we have is a mug that we've already finished, right? Decently tall, decently thick. I've gone through and to try and smooth some of it out because a lot of them are really irregular, I take what is known as a rib. Okay, uh, the black rib is a little stiffer. Some of the tables have blue ribs. Those are a little softer. And I can just run the edge of the rib, either edge, doesn't really matter which one, um, across the clay. And that kind of smooths out any kinds of bumps or, or cracks we have. So we can do that first to kind of make everything even and nice, okay? Once we've done that, we're gonna start doing the face. We do the face before we put the rest of it on because we need to be able to reach in here to push against, okay? If we just push on this, it's going to make a dent or a hole, so we always need to put our hands inside, right? Some of your jugs are a little small, so sometimes you might need to put a tool inside to push against, but you wanna have something that you can push against. The first thing that I'm going to do is because we're going to try and shoot for something that looks naturalistic. Naturalistic means that looks like an actual person's face. So instead of just putting circles for eyes, we're going to try and make the eyes look like eyes. Okay. So the first thing we're going to do is we're actually going to start by pushing on the vessel a little bit, really gently here, right? And all I'm doing is trying to round out kind of where the brow would be, right? Your forehead. We can do this because our pots are thick. If your pot is not very thick, I would advise you don't do this part, okay? Um, that doesn't mean you can't add on a brow, right? Make a little coil and smooth it on. It doesn't mean that you can't uh, do other parts, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't probably mess with the sides too much if it's not uh, very thick, okay? So now we have kind of the brow there. We can figure out where our eyes would be. We can kind of do a sketch in the clay almost. That's where the nose will go. This is about where the eyes will go. This is about where the mouth will go, okay? So now we just have a sense of where things are gonna go. We can push in where the eyes are going to be, okay? We're just kind of intentionally denting it a little bit. That'll give it what's known as the ocular socket actually kind of the, the bones where our eyeballs sit in. Okay, I'm not doing it all the way across because our nose is there. So I'm just gently pushing, right? If I push too hard, I'll make a hole. Don't want to make a hole. Gently pushing, okay? If I can reach down, I can also push the mouth out at this point, right? Uh, I'm going to use a tool and try and just push the mouth out a little bit, okay? And again, this is just for structure, right? Now we kind of have a structure as to where the face is going to go.